Today is the day you are gonna master your weak hand layups because I've got 10 drills from beginner to advanced that are gonna help you progress very, very quickly on your weak hand layups so you can get that weak hand as good as your strong hand. Coach Jesse Minchie with Get Handles Basketball where we train harder and smarter so you can play like the pros. If that's something you're looking to do, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you can catch all the newest videos. And if there's any other part of your game you're looking to improve, make sure you check out my channel because I got hundreds of videos. But if I don't have a video on what you're looking for, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll try to get you one. At the end of the video, I'm actually gonna give you something to help you develop your weak hand dribbling because to make any of this effective, you have to be confident that you can get there to the basket for the layup, right? So at the end, I'm gonna link you to another YouTube video that'll help you with that. But the first drill, all we're gonna do is simply go to the basket and just this is for the beginners and we're gonna advance to go on start with just one dribble one two slow steps get a good layup now if you're wondering why I'm doing this with the right hand it's because I'm a lefty so I'm not cheating on you guys so that's it right there just one two steps into your layup doing that about ten times is a great way just to get the feel for it get it right and if you're more advanced just get warmed up Second drill we're gonna do. We're gonna work on our ability to get the ball more off the catch, right? Because in game situations, sometimes you're cutting to the basket and you gotta be able to quickly locate the basketball, catch it off the bounce, and take two steps and go right in the layup without the dribble, right? So this is a way to kind of simulate that, not knowing when the ball is gonna be coming or where it's coming from. Because if you just throw it out to yourself, it makes it a little easy. I mean, you could do that if, if you wanna start with that. All you're gonna do is throw the basketball behind you. One, two, boom, okay? This adds a little bit more of a reaction element because you don't know exactly where the basketball is going to end up. Next two drills are just going to have some simple tweaks that are going to expand how you can finish those weak hand layups so you have different ways of doing them in game situations. All we're going to do on this is, again, dribble, take our two steps, and all you want to do is focus on is getting as high as you can on that layup. If you can get to the point where you can slap the backboard, slap the backboard. If you can get to the rim, get your hands to a ball to the side of the backboard because we're still working on layups, not dunks. And if you're a little bit shorter, don't worry about trying to hit anything. Just try to get your hand as close to that backboard as you can. So that would look something like this. Again, you can do that about 10 times. Next one is another simple tweak. Working on jumping as far as you can. So you would get a bigger step back so when you jump for the layup, you're trying to like mark where you're at. So trying to pick a spot on the court in the paint that you're gonna try to jump from. That's one thing that I found really helped me because it'll allow you to get your layups off quicker and from places your defenders won't expect. So like this. And a good indicator if you're doing a good job on extending that distance is you'll probably land past the basket. So you should be landing way back here or further if you did a good job on really trying to jump far on that layup. If you're going easy, you'll land right under the basket. You're not really challenging yourself. If you're liking the drill so far, do me a solid, click that like button, and leave me a comment, say this is helping. So the next thing we're gonna do, you're probably gonna find hard at first, so it's gonna take some reps to get it in. We're gonna work on that floater with the weak hand. About 10 times with that. Try to make sure you're finishing about at least five feet out from the rim, maybe up to 10 feet. If you get really advanced, you could even go out to 15 feet. I've seen guys make them from out there. And try to make sure you're getting the shot nice and high. Okay, those are the two big things you'll wanna focus on is that you're getting further out and you're finishing high. This is gonna give you a lot more options for finishing with that weak hand around the rim so you can throw your defender off because now we have the ability to jump high, we have the ability to jump far, we could do it off the dribble, we could do it off the catch. This is gonna get it so we can get that shot a little further from the rim where they don't expect it and higher. Next finish is a great go-to move that you can count on in game situations to kind of juke out your defender and get a type, another type of finish off around them. And it's just gonna help you get your actual regular layups down more comfortably because you're gonna be not having as much time to focus on the rim because we're gonna do a turnaround. So you wanna make sure when we're doing this, 
I'm gonna show you right hand. I'm gonna step with the right foot at least directly under the rim or try to get to the other side of the rim. If you're doing this with the left hand, just flip everything around, come either right under the rim or all the way to the other side of the rim. Once you've done that part, you're gonna just turn around and go into your shot. The reason this is gonna develop your finishing around the rim is number one, your body positioning is a little different, right? You have to work on turning into that shot. And number two, you don't have as much time to lock in on the rim. But number three, this is just a great move to sell a fake to your defender, come there and get a quick finish. Next one, if you're new to it, might be a little bit of a challenge that you've done before. You shouldn't have too much problems getting this one off. It's a reverse layup. And you could do this either coming more 45 degree angle to the hoop and then finishing with that weak hand, or you can do it more straight on if you're a little bit more of a beginner just to get the feel for it. But once you get good at it, what you really wanna work up to is doing it more baseline so you can come from one side and then come to the other. And all you wanna do with this is take your one dribble, get your steps, and get that layup off. Just focus on trying to make as many of them as you can at first, and then once you get better, you can work on it. Maybe adding more height to your jump or getting further on your jump. Okay, things are gonna get a little more wild on this one, a little bit more challenging. You might wanna slow it down. We're gonna do the one step layup. So as you'll notice, I'm just gonna take one step after the dribble, right foot, and I'm gonna jump so my left foot is the one raised. So it's also goofy footed, right? Normally you would jump with this foot up. So it's gonna feel a little bit awkward. You might wanna slow it down and just start from about here, go boom, right into the layup. And just come back and repeat, right? From here, boom, like that. And then as you get better, you can work on trying to come out a little bit further out from the basket to work on that finish. It might feel awkward, it might look awkward, but it's a great way to throw your defender's timing off and expand your confidence and your ability to finish around the rim in different ways with that weak hand. With working on all those other layups, you're ready to really start advancing and do some more advanced type of stuff. We're gonna up the challenge quite a bit. We're just gonna go regular one, two steps, jump regular, so all that seems easy so far, right? But what we're gonna do from there is once we get in the air, I want you to do a double pump, double clutch, whatever you wanna call it, but you're gonna show the ball, bring the ball back down, and then finish with that one hand, just that we can. Getting a finish like that down is gonna be great for throwing your defender's timing and positioning off because they think you're gonna finish here. You bring the ball down, they went for those shot blocks, so you threw their timing off, and then you also threw their positioning off because as your body's floating in air, you're gonna end up finishing closer to the basket. So I'll do that about 10 times. Again, you can start a little closer, just getting those off, and then from there, you can work on coming a little bit further, getting a little bit more air time with them, and getting the feel for them. Key tip I can give you though at first is just show the ball early, and as you're jumping, as soon as you get in the air, bring the ball down right away. That'll help you get it, the feel for it a little bit more quickly. And then as you get better, you can try to do more of that double pump in the air. This is where things are gonna get extra crazy, extra difficult. It's a much advanced variation of the mic and drill. So if you don't know what the mic and drill, it's basically you're just gonna stand under the basket and come finish side to side like this. But we're gonna take things up a notch and do it all with the weak hand and also add one other element. Coming for just a regular right hand shot here, and then from there, as you get advanced, you can work on catching it right as it lands out of the hoop off the bounce, but for starters, you might wanna bounce it yourself, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side with an alley-oop. So every shot, we want to be an alley-oop. Bounce, catch it in the air, finish. Bounce, catch it in the air, finish. And then as you get better, try to go right from the rebound, As promised, I got that video that's gonna help you master your weak hand dribbling so you can actually get in position to get these types of weak hand layups off. You can click this video right here. That's another YouTube video. It's gonna help you a ton with your ball handling ability. Click that subscribe button, that bell icon so you can catch the newest videos, and I'll see you in this video.